क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अमाइंस एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अमाइंस सो व्हाट आर दोस प्रॉपर्टीज लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दैट इन दिस टॉपिक So friends, now in this topic, let me introduce few points so that we could understand the physical properties of amines. So talking about the first point, that is the lower members of the aliphatic amines, they are basically they are colorless and they have fishy odor, while the higher members of the amines. So suppose if I consider the amines which have more than three carbon atoms, so most of the higher amines are basically solid in nature. So that is was related to the aliphatic amines. And now let me talk about that is the aromatic. Amines or the aryl amines. So it has been noted that is the aryl amines, that is the pure aryl amines, are basically colorless in nature. But the thing is, they can get easily oxidized by the air or by the oxygen that has been present in the air. That's the reason they have a particular color, and that makes these compounds a bit toxic in nature. So that was related to the aliphatic as well as the aromatic amines. And now let me talk about the other properties also. So friends, these were the points related to the physical appearance. And now let me talk about the point related to the solubility. Amines are basically they are very much soluble in water, but the lower members of the amines are very much soluble in water. In fact, all the amines are very much soluble in organic solvent. The reason behind that is they are soluble in water. That is, the lower members of the alkyl amines are very much soluble in water. The reason behind that is the formation of hydrogen bonding. So this is what I am going to talk about. That is, we understand that is the alkyl amines that could be represented by R, NH two. and that's the reason that if i consider the other amines also which consist of a nitrogen atom over here and suppose this is the hydrogen and this is the hydrogen and suppose this is the alkyl group so because of which because we know that is the nitrogen is electronegative and this hydrogen is electropositive so that's the reason this partially positively charged hydrogen and this partially negatively charged nitrogen they will form a hydrogen bonding between them so therefore this is applicable for other hydrogens also and that's the reason that the lower members of the alkyl amine are basically soluble in water but the higher member of the alkyl amines they are basically in soluble in water so that was the related point to the solubility and now let me talk about the other point that is boiling point so it has been noted that is the alkyl amine has a boiling point which is higher than alkanes but it is lower than alcohol so that is what i want to talk about the few points related to the boiling point and the points are So this is a few example that I am going to talk about. That is, if we consider the normal alkene, and this is basically an alkene which has a molecular mass of 73. So in this case, the boiling point in Kelvin it has been found to be that is 27.8 Kelvin. So suppose if I am talking about an alcohol, that is, if I consider this as an alcohol, so in this case the molecular mass is 74, and the boiling point it has been found to be 117.3 Kelvin. But if I consider the alkyl amine. So in this case, this is a primary amine that I'm talking about. So the molar mass is found to be 73, but the boiling point is being found to be between this 117 and 27.8, that is 77.8 Kelvin. So that indicates that is the amines are the one which have higher boiling point than the alkene, and they have lower boiling point than the alcohol. So this was the point related to the boiling point. And now let me talk about the other points also. If I consider the primary, secondary, and tertiary amines, so it has been found that is the primary amines are very much soluble in water. In fact, they can form the more intermolecular hydrogen bonding. And talking about the secondary amines, secondary amines have one hydrogen atom less compared to that of that is, if we talk about the hydrogen that are been associated with nitrogen, so therefore they have one hydrogen atom less. So that's the reason. Even they can form hydrogen bonding, but the thing is, it will be less compared to that of the primary one. But if I talk about the tertiary amines, tertiary amines have no hydrogen that are attached to the nitrogen. That's the reason that they don't form hydrogen bonding. So this is the reason that is the primary amine are the one which have more boiling point compared to that of the secondary amine, 
and compared to that of the tertiary amine. So this were nothing but the physical properties of amine. That is what I want to discuss about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.